Hello everyone, it's Immux. Today in this video I will show you some tips and tricks for the new Gulag in Warzone Season 6. And the Gulag is the OG Gulag uh, that we played before the Cold War integration happened uh, about a year ago. So it may look familiar but there have been minor changes so I think that this video will help also the guys that have played since the beginning of Warzone. This is my first video of a series called From Bot to Top where I help you guys become a better Warzone player. Before we start, please remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now let's look at the different Gulag maps. Mm, this one is the new one, the I-shaped version, which has a big empty lane in the middle. And then we have the, the old one, the O-shaped map, and the other one, the H-shaped map, and the last one is the U-shaped version of the Gulag. Next, we go through my Gulag strategy, which works pretty similarly in every version of the map. Uh, first, let's watch a full clip of me in action. I have broke down my Gulag strategy to five different steps. First step is to play tactically and stay active in the middle of your own span. So don't be too aggressive and just rush for a 50-50 gunfight, or on the other hand too passive and just hold one line either. Line. Next, keep moving in the middle, listen for audio cues and look for the different lanes where your enemy could be coming. After the first 4 seconds, use your tactical and then lethal to gain more information and possibly hurt your enemy. After that, move actively towards the middle of the map. Use your movement to your advantage. Slide cancel or bunny hop around the corners and ADS walk if you want to stay quiet. In the last phase, center your crosshair well to the enemy's upper chest and don't forget to use pre-fire, drop shot or bunny hop shot. Now, let's watch four clips of my strategy in action. And all of the clips are from different versions of the Gulag. As you can see, I was set by my own movement in the end of the clip. So the other guy was trying to melee me, but I made a nice fadeaway bunny hop, which saved my life. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Here is a good example of how effective you can be when you use your tactical in the Gulag. You gave him a proper sword. Stand by. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Here, I was once again saved by my own movement, so learn to use the drop shot. In the new version of the Gulag, there is a lot of empty space in the middle, so you need to move from cover to cover. Now, when we have gone through the basic strategy, I will give you 10 general tips for the Gulag. If you end up in the same Gulag with your friend, remember to communicate with your teammate so that he or she knows where the enemy is coming. Try to use clear and short sentences like pushing from left or on the flag. My second tip is to throw rocks at the enemy because those hits will stun the player for a fragment of a second. There isn't too much light in the Gulag, and many people use dark skins like Rose, so remember to spray your enemies if they are standing still before they match. Get ready to fight. You're next. You can as well train to use the weapons that are currently used in the Gulag. You can do that for example in multiplayer, plunder, or even in the warm-up before the match starts. That's actually pretty important, because for example in the last season you needed to remember that the Tech 9 was single fire gun, or you were stuck holding the trigger and watching the other guy get you. Here is a clip of me playing with Diamadi, which is a burst weapon and one of the guns in the Gulag right now.
My fifth tip is to watch where the enemy's character is headed. Sometimes they might reveal where they are going even before the fight starts. On top of that, you can also try to mess up with your enemy by bluffing where you are going. My sixth tip is universal in all warzone. If you can choose, peek from your right side, cause your gun is in the right side of your body, and that way you will see the enemy sooner than from the left side. My seventh tip is that don't be too predictable. For example, use pre-fire if you hear your enemy or see a glimpse of him. That might surprise the enemy and give you a huge advantage because the time to kill is so low in Gulag. You can as well try to drop shot so that the enemy misses his shot. Take a close look at the loadout so that you won't end up in a situation where you think that you are throwing a flash, but soon you see the smoke rising in front of you. You should also know when to back out. It takes 6 to 7 seconds for your health to regain, so if you take damage, back out, find a new angle and get back to fight. My last tip is that you should use the flag for your advantage. When the overtime flag spans, try to bluff or hold it and listen for audio cues, because it only takes 3 seconds to capture the flag. Your enemy has to react to that and you can get them easily when they run loudly towards you. Now we have gone through my Gulag guide. I hope that it helped you and you learned something new. I will continue the From Bot to Top series soon, so stay tuned. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Bye!